everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Presca Caliber Club. In today's video, we're going to be revisiting the Berna Launcher and our whole series talking about the products and accessories related to the launcher itself. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about the Berna Boost, which allows you to convert your launcher from an 8 gram CO2 cartridge up to a 12 gram. Let's get to it. video I wanted to talk a little bit about this product. This is the Berna Boost from Berna who makes the Berna SD Launcher. For those of you who are unfamiliar, the SD Launcher is a pepper ball launching mechanism which can be used to um, fire pepper balls or kinetic projectile rounds at somebody who is trying to assault or hurt you or something along those lines. This is a purely defensive tool. It is non-lethal. It is meant to get people off of you and keep them away long enough so you can escape and get back to safety. Now, one of the main complaints, and it's not even necessarily a complaint, it's just a question about these, has been the fact that they use proprietary 8 gram CO2 cartridges. The normal um, CO2 cartridges you find at Walmart or other retailers are 12 grams. Now, there is a product on them on the market called the Berna SDXL, which takes 12 gram CO2 cartridges. But in this video, I wanna show you a product called the Berna Boost. This is a mechanism that goes onto the front of your launcher and allows you to extend it out to take the full 12 gram CO2 cartridges. Now, what are some of the benefits of using 12 gram CO2 cartridges? Number one, if you could find them cheaper at places like Walmart or online, you can get a um, discounted price off of using the proprietary Berna 8 gram CO2 cartridges. Additionally, it allows you to find CO2 cartridges more readily available in different places all across the nation and really across the world. Um, and additionally, instead of using um, an 8 gram CO2 cartridge to fire projectiles, you're using a 12 gram. Now it does not increase the velocity of the projectiles coming out, but what it will do is allow you to fire more projectiles on one CO2 cartridge. Either way, the CO2 cartridge is not going to be punctured until you pull the first round. So another question I've had is, how long is a cartridge good in your burna? Well, the answer is forever, because as long as you don't pull the trigger the first time on a new CO2 cartridge, it's still a full CO2 cartridge. In one of our other videos, which I'll put a link to right up here, we show how many rounds you can fire through one 8 gram CO2 cartridge. I believe it was around six magazines, so about 30 projectiles. The 12 gram should double that by another 50%. So we're talking um, as many as 90 rounds should be able to be dispelled from a 12 gram versus 60 for an 8 gram. Now, the product itself comes in a small little box like this. It should be noted that the HD and the SD model do use different boost systems. And the main reason they use different systems is because of the length of your front sight post. The way the mechanism fits over, it has to grab the back side of the front sight post. Therefore, um, because the HD has a little bit shorter front sight post, the HD version does not fit on your SD. So when you're ordering these, make sure you're getting one that is compatible with your SD or your HD. Now, when you open up the package, you're going to get the actual mechanism, which goes right on the front of the launcher. Additionally, you're going to get a set of instructions and then a little package which contains a few screws and some Allen wrenches to help you install this onto your launcher. Now, as part of this video, I wanted to show you guys exactly how you go about installing it. So now let's go ahead and get to installing this so you guys know exactly how easy it is to install. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the little cap in the front which keeps the CO2 cartridge in. The second step, you're gonna take out your little package of tools and you can dump them out right in front of you. Be careful not to lose any and you're going to use uh, one of the Allen keys to take off one of the uh, little bolts that is already affixed to the side of the uh, Burn a Boost system. Do not lose that screw, you will be reusing it. That will then allow you to take this into two pieces, it'll take it apart, and you're going to essentially take the first piece and slide it right over into position. You're going to take the other piece that we just removed 
and slide it over in the other direction. Um, there's a little lip on the top that you need to kind of hop it past. And there you have it. So now you are now um, affixed in the proper alignment. You're going to reinstall the little screw that you just took out. This is going to allow you to squeeze the Burna Boost back up tight against the launcher. And remember, now you've still got some pick rail down here, so you can still affix a light to it. Now the last few um, little bolts that they provide you are going to go into the side. You're going to drop one in, two in, and then one up top, three. And that now allows you to take your the little nuts, put them along the side. Oops, I still dropped one. And you can use your other Allen wrench at this point in time to tighten down these little screws, these little bolts. And they should hold the, the nut itself right in place. Boom. We're going to do two more of these for each of the other places where they have openings for them. So we'll go right here, right underneath the muzzle. Is this the second one? The first one, of course, is up by the sight, by the front sight post. You're going to screw that one in. And then you're going to affix the final one on the most rearward position. I do not believe the order of these matters, just as long as you're getting everything affixed properly and tightening them down. Now, we're doing this for video, so if I were doing this uh, as a permanent install, I would probably put a little blue Loctite on them and just firm them down a little stronger than I am here, but for now, I just wanted to kind of get them into place so you can see. And then lastly, you're going to take the same cap that you pulled off the front up here, and that will now screw into the front of your launcher. And this little extended section here allows you to take instead of an 8 gram, a 12 gram, which protrudes a little further. Once again, this means that your launcher can now shoot 50% more projectiles than it would have in the past. This allows you to essentially upgrade your Berna SD into a Berna SD XL. The sight picture is not really affected based on what I'm looking at here. They do make um, holsters that do fit these. With that being said, I wanted to test out a couple of the actual Berna holsters to see if they will fit your Berna SD with the Berna Boost installed. So first of all, we've got our standard nylon holster, and this one I believe is going to fit just fine. Yes, it does. It still gives enough room to protrude down here, so you're, if you own one of these um, soft nylon holsters, the Berna Boost will fit um, the Berna Boost installed on your launcher will fit into the holster. Now the second one I wanted to try, and I'm hoping this fits because this is kind of a big piece for many of you if you've already purchased one of these Kydex holsters for your SD. Does the SD with the Boost fit in it? Let's give it a try. And no, it does not. So if you are purchasing a Berna SD, you're putting the Boost on it, you're going to want to stick with the nylon holster. Additionally, some of the features that you might want be wondering about are can I still put a weapon mounted light on it? Yes, you can. You still have a pick rail on the bottom of the launcher, so that's still there for a light or other, um, you know, other accessories. Of course, your magazines and everything else are exactly the same. The only difference here is that instead of using your 8 gram CO2 cartridge, you can now use the larger 12 gram CO2 cartridge in the same launcher. You don't have to sell your launcher and try to pick up the Berna SD XL or anything like that. You can take your current SD and convert it over to an XL, allowing it to use 12 gram CO2 cartridges for about $50. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's any other content related to the Bernas that you would like to see, please jump in the comment section down below. Leave me a note, let me know what you're looking for, and I'll see if I can fit that into my schedule. Upcoming, we're going to have a few new videos coming out soon where we're going to be testing the projectiles. We're going to be testing them by shooting ourselves and seeing how effective they are or possibly how limited they are. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those videos. Hit the notifications bell icon so you're alerted as soon as we do release a new video. But for now, 
I don't have anything else for you guys today. So you just stay safe. And as always, don't forget to keep prepping.